Dr. Edward Batch, or Bach, as some pronounce his name, lived here in Cromer from 1930 to 1934. He lived in two Cromer residences, one on St Mary's Road and the other here in this house. This was his favourite because it overlooked the sea. He was born of Welsh parentage in the Midlands in 1886. We understand that he must have visited Cromer in his early years as we know he had great affection for this seaside town. Dr. Batch did much of his groundbreaking work during that four years that he lived here in Cromer. It's understood that at least nine of the 38 flower remedies were made in the surrounding countryside, some of which he made from wild flowers growing what is now the golf course in West Brunton. From this house where he lived, he had a good vantage point overlooking the sea and the lifeboat station. He greatly admired the lifeboatmen as they tackled the rough seas, risking their lives saving others. And on one famous occasion in December 1933, Dr. Batch witnessed the heroic rescue by the legendary Henry Blogg and his crew of two men who for two hours had been clinging to the wreckage of the barge Sea Foy. Apparently, Dr. Batch went to his kitchen here in his house and quickly blended a mixture of his remedies. Then, as the first sailor was brought ashore, he rushed down to the gangway and gave the half-drowned man some of his newly created remedy. It is said that after taking that, the sailor made a quick recovery. <laughs> so I've often wondered if that's why Dr. Batch called his mixture Rescue Remedy, ah. as it was used in that sea rescue. In 2006, on what would have been his 100th birthday, the Batch International Conference was held here in Chroma at the Pavilion Theatre. It was attended by speakers and delegates from 32 different countries around the world. Dr. Edward Batch is clearly an important figure in the history of Cromer, and we are pleased to report that 87 years on from his time in this town, his flower remedies remain as popular as ever. Joe and I have been working in this field for many years, so it's a privilege to be asked here today to have this wonderful opportunity to honour his life and work. We unveil this plaque and in doing so remember his legacy the vast number of people and animals that have been gratefully helped worldwide and the many who will continue to be helped in years to come. Thank you.